You got it. Can anybody in this room explain to me what SRF was? No, you probably cannot, which is all right, but uh, considering the country that we live in, the United States of America is a weird thing to consider. Uh, the United States is very well known for the massive gun culture that it has, but to think that you could walk into almost any college classroom and most people in there probably do not know what an SRF is, it's kind of confusing. So today I will be explaining to you what an SRF is, when they were first created, and the purpose of them on the battlefield. First, what's an SRF? The Merriam Webster Dictionary defines an SRF as any of those <coughs> intermediate range magazine fed of military rifles that can be set for automatic or semi automatic fire. Of course, this is a very wordy definition, and not explain right now the terminology used. Uh, intermediate is really just referring to anywhere between 100 to 300 meters, uh, and automatic and semi-automatic is a very confused uh, or very two very confusing terms uh, because they both contain the word automatic. Automatic fire is really just uh, for as long as you're holding down the trigger on a firearm, uh, rounds will continue to be fired until there's no more math rounds left in the magazine. Or on the belt, depending on what type of weapon. Semi automatic means for every pull of the trigger, only one bullet is fired. Next, when were SORIF were SOR rifles created? According to Michael Shurkin, SOR rifles were created uh, by the German army during the later half of World War II. It all began with the MG 44, also known as the SDG 44, uh, specifically in 1944. Also, Shurkin has stated that Adolf Hitler himself is uh, said to have coined the term STG 44. Uh, it is said that he told the soldiers to call it the Schirmgewehr uh, instead of the MP or machine and pistol like the manufacturer called it because machine and pistol is mainly used to describe some machine guns, not assault rifles. Uh, well, Schirmgewehr is a combination of two German words, Sturm meaning storm and Gewehr meaning rifle, so mm. it fits better. And finally, uh, why were assault rifles created on for um, why were the rifles purpose on the battlefield? According to an article by the New York Times, uh, assault rifles were designed to kill as many people as possible. However, you could kind of say that about almost any weapon ever created. That was mainly every weapon's purpose. So we have to go a bit more specific. According to an article by Military Review, uh, the U.S. issued the M14 to all of its soldiers uh, during the Korean War and the Vietnam War. Uh, it was a rifle that could reach out to uh, an automatic rifle that could reach out to ranges of up to 460 meters, and it was made to compete with other assault rifles. However, soldiers did not like it specifically because of the weight and length of rifle. It was too long and too heavy to where soldiers complained, and it was difficult to use in the tight jungle conditions. Uh, according to winning the CQB by Stephen Miller, assault rifles had shorter barrels lined them to be more maneuverable and easier to use in tight jungle spaces and other conditions, allowing them for whether it be longer ranges or close quarters combat, they're still very effective. In conclusion, I've told you one SR rifle is, which is a lightweight, an intermediate range light rifle. I've explained when they were created, which all began with the STG 44, and I've given you, and I've told you why they're uh, created in the first place, because they're a do it all rifle. So now that we have all learned a little something about SR rifles, I hope that we've all become a little bit less fearful of them uh, and how they look, specifically because. We can now learn uh, the similarities between uh, modern tactical looking rifles like an AR-15 and older hunting rifles or more hunting type rifles like something like an M14. Thank you. Very good.